hey guys welcome back to my channel and i know 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 i have been gone for like three to four months maybe even five but listen i'm back i'm better i'm stronger and i'm here to make things happen so please keep watching if you want to hear my fitness journey story because this is the most requested one and every single app snapchat instagram twitter everyone's always asking me like babes how did she get into this fitness thing so if you want to feel inspired or just learn one or two things or you know just here to support me like if you just want to support me and please keep on watching so from a very young age i've just always felt that i am insecure about my weight i've always been really self-conscious about my weight whether being the scale itself the number of my scale or just my physical appearance i've just always felt bigger you know i've got a round face i'm quite thick big thighs my arms are much larger than they are now i mean now like hey we're getting strong from the gym everybody say yeah yeah, yeah. jokes guys <laughs> i just wanted to flex a little bit but okay but my point is i've just always felt that i'm bigger than everyone else and if i'm to think back as to why i felt that way then i can only link it back to what i've been told by other people what society has told me what my peers have told me what my family members friends all the people had fed me from a young age i actually found this picture i don't know if i'll find it i'll insert it in the screen if i can where i had to write a composition at school when i was learning how to write um essays as such and i basically decided described myself using my weight and my skin color and it really baffles me to think that someone of that young age is so aware of their weight like is that okay should i have been aware of my weight at that point i mean okay for some it's not that deep but for me it is because i feel like it's made it's a huge part of who i am today because from that point onwards i've just always felt i'm too big like i couldn't even step out in shorts in public until 2019 because i was thinking well where the heck am i going to hide my thighs because why they are too big and truth be told we all have our insecurities and more times these insecurities stem from what other people have told us about ourselves things we didn't even notice about ourselves you know we all think we're pretty well at least i think we've all felt we were pretty until we started seeing these figures of whether online or people trying to tell us to live up to these standards that really just don't match us whether it's on tv or in magazines whatever it may be you know so for me that's really just where it all stems from and i've just always been trying to get rid of the weight since then i just always wanted to be smaller i'm like why can't i be smaller it made me really insecure even with day to day i just always thought oh my gosh like i have a crush on this guy but why would he like me i'm so big like he wouldn't be able to lift me i'm so big i'm so big i'm so big i'm so big you know he probably likes the skinnier girls and it's very very toxic for me as a person to just Put, I just put so much value of myself and my weight, you know, to think, okay, I mean, I'm not worthy of being loved because I weigh like this. Or when someone has done something wrong for me, wrong to me as, oh, um, you know, this person have wronged me. Maybe if I was skinnier, they would have treated me better. And so I had to stop. I had to stop. I had to put a stop to it, okay? And someone might comment in this video and say, Babes, you weren't that big after all, you know? Um, you were just thick. But okay, you think I was thick? Great, someone else thinks I was fat. Great, someone else thinks I was skinny. Great, but that exactly goes back to my point on just finding value in myself without my weight. And ironically, I was able to build on that in the gym. <laughs> So now it is it's confusing, right? I know. So someone's telling me I'm fat 
and so now i'm going to find value myself in the gym does that really make sense okay okay i'll explain fast forward okay so high school right i lost a little bit of weight i remember i went down a few pant sizes in my school uniform and i was a little bit smaller than i was before so that was like well well done tracy you know, I was very strict on my diet. I remember my friends used to help me. At break time, I stay away from the fizzy drinks. And I don't know, in South Africa, like, we used to have, like, things like bunny chow for break. Um, I don't know if you know what that is, but it's like a bread with, like, you know, a quarter of a bread with filling inside. And I wasn't eating any of that. Or maguinha, um, fat cakes bread with filling inside. And I wasn't eating any of that. Or maguinha um fat cakes that's what they call them i wasn't eating any of that but i was still big just not as big as before because i now started making these changes so fine i came to university and now i was by myself okay i now had the freedom to completely choose what i had to that i could fit my, feed myself whether i wanted to go to the gym or not whether i had to do sport or not there's no such thing as now um they're telling us okay we have in-house games on a wednesday afternoon everyone has to be there and compete you have to play basketball against the red team none of that existed anymore it was not just down to me but one thing that was still a big deal for me was my weight still i still felt like you know i'm still too big and i still felt really really insecure like if someone said something about my weight it just wouldn't like it still had significant value to how i viewed myself as a person but now it was really like it was getting so toxic it was really 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 bad and i think i'm a pretty girl i've always thought i'm a pretty girl you know but then it's like uh, i just started to think so lowly of myself you know i said tolerating bullshit basically i try not to swear but i can't find a more appropriate word i started i started tolerating shit because i thought fat girl you're not getting anything better than this so just let it be and then i'm like no babes no 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 okay no you deserve better than this so I just woke up one day and decided enough was enough really and I changed my entire diet changed it my the first day was very very hard and to anyone who's trying to change their lifestyle please as soon as you get to the first day you'll be fine okay you will be fine and it's all in your head literally it is all in your head once you get it in your mind that listen honey listen Linda, darling. Linda. <laughs> Doesn't listen. But Linda, honey. Listen, okay, listen. 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 Just put it in your head. Whatever your goal is, just think about it. Every single day, remember your goal. Every time you want to slip out, just think. Listen. 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 Just put it in your mind. That, okay, this is what I want and this is what I'm going to get. So that's really what I did. So I cut down processed foods i started substituting things i cut down dairy for one and i started taking almond milk i didn't really take butter i stopped eating bread because i thought this is like highly processed carbs i started eating whole foods quinoa brown rice brown pasta i started eating more lentils more plants and the results came I was glowing I was feeling great about myself and now I was working out as well and just because I was eating correctly I went into the gym with the right attitude oh my energy was skyrocket I don't know if you follow me on Instagram sometimes I post that oh I had pizza last night and like I can definitely feel it in the gym like the two go hand in hand guys you can't you can't say okay i'm working out so i can eat junk no babes it doesn't work like that you need to have both at the same time so for me the gym was just a place of redefining who i am it was no longer hi i'm tracy the fat girl from malawi i'm now tracy the bad bitch in the gym like that's just me that was now who i am like i don't know you guys that place gives me so much power like 
it gives me so much power it gives me so much peace sometimes i'm so angry and i just go outside and i run i could never run if you knew me from high school you knew if you did cross country i was last place you you are guaranteed the last position goes to tracy <laughs> Well, at least bottom three like let, let me give myself cut myself some slack bottom three you know but now i was like no i'm not going to let the world dictate who i am i'm not going to let the world dictate um my narrative of myself i am more than what my skill says so i went from being 84 kilograms in my senior year of high school that was a levels 84 kilograms to january 2019 i was a good 64 so that's a whole 20 kilograms gone you guys a whole 20 i don't weigh 64 now i'm much bigger like you know but it doesn't really bother me that much like i've got some more muscle like my arms are a lot more toned than they used to be i still have bad eating habits like i love to drink okay i love to drink but i'm trying to improve myself so that's really what i'm trying to get at that you know I didn't really go on a diet to lose weight. I tried and I failed, but I decided that, okay, you know what? Just get it in your head that, you know what? You have to take care of your body. No one, and I mean absolutely no one, should tell you how you should look. No one should tell you that, listen, you need to be skinny. And no one should tell you that, oh, your face is too round. Like, find that thing that gives you confidence. You know and for me i found that in the gym that place gives me confidence whether it's linked to the fact that i've been body shaming my whole life or not is another story but what matters to me is the fact that i can take control of who i am i'm not gonna let tom dick or harry define who i am i'm not quite frankly and i'm not sorry about that i'm not i'm not going to let anyone dictate how i look you know i've gained weight all the time my weight still fluctuates always has still does will it still continue fluctuating after this video probably right but i am more than what i see on the scale more than that okay so that's why i really really struggle with trying to film this video so many times i get questions on how you lost weight how did you do it or why rather and some people are on why why did you choose to lose weight you know we like to think tracy we like to chubby tracy i liked your cheeks like now you're living a lot more snatched like listen so long story short i did it because it empowers me okay and because like i feel that empowerment like i just want everyone else to do it like if I'm being honest, and that's why I love to share um, when I go to the gym. Maybe not share my workouts because I really struggle with filming those. But I love to share, um, like me waking up at 6 a.m., going to the gym, feeling enthusiastic for my day, feeling happy because it makes me happy, okay? And it, it's just given me so much confidence. I would have never ever sat in front of a camera and filmed myself like this, put myself on the internet. Me? What? Are you mad? Are you dumb? Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> it was unheard of, you know? So, yeah. So that's really my journey. I'm still going on. I'm just trying to improve myself. The same way you just always try and do better. The same way you go from primary school to secondary school to university. In the same way, I'm like, okay, I'm just trying to improve myself. I'm not doing this because I'm trying to be as skinny as Tindy wants me to be or... I'm trying to get a booty like John wants me to have a booty I'm just trying to improve myself trying to be better live better and just feel more confident in my skin like bro you have one life and you only have one body it is the only place you have to live so what's it gonna be you gonna hate yourself forever or you gonna get up and do something that will just empower you and let you love yourself let you enjoy your skin like you know just think about that like whoever's in we all have our insecurities and we all have our bad days but just always think just put it in your mind change your mindset and change your life and that's all i had to share with you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed this video like it and give it a big massive thumbs up if you enjoyed it Please share your thoughts in the comments below if you've got similar experiences to the ones I did 
um just anything really i just love to hear from you guys share with me if you're watching this um you know tag me on your instagram story all of that good stuff just like i don't know i'm just happy to be back guys like <laughs> i'm happy 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 okay i'll see you guys in my next one bye